The third of Kuruli's Opus 114 Preludes is in the key of D and it's in six beats to the bar. Let's take it a bar at a time. Here's bar one. Make a normal D chord shape. You're going to play four, two, one, two, three, two. That's the first half of the bar. And then repeat it. Four, two, one, two, three, two. So six beats to the bar, as I said, one and two and three and four and five and six and bar two. It's an A chord, but you're not going to play the fourth string. So I like to just play strings three and two at the second fret. Five, two, one, two, three, two, and repeat it. Five, two, one, two, three, two. And I'll give you the rhythm one more time and then I won't give it again because it doesn't change again until the very the final bar of the piece. Every bar's rhythm is the same. One and two and three and four and five and six and bar three. To the shape you were playing before, just add the first string at the third fret and play exactly the same pattern on the right hand that you just played. seven chord that we just played was setting up a return to the home chord of D and sure enough we get it here at bar four and we played exactly the same way we played bar one. Now a quick change to a normal D7 chord at bar five. But the pattern in the right hand that we play is the same we played for the D chord, exactly the same. picking pattern as the previous bar was and at bar six G over D we want a G chord but with a D open fourth string in the bass so all we need is the first string at the third fret the right hand picking pattern is the same as the previous two bars your bass note is the fourth string and bar seven The A chord is coming back again and we're going to play it the same way we did at bar two. But now we get something different here. A D chord going to a B minor chord. At the beginning of bar eight, the D chord is four, two, one, two, one. Two. Notice the difference from the picking pattern we've been playing up to now. Now add the third string at the fourth fret. Play three, two, one, two, one, two. The rhythm doesn't change, but your right hand picking pattern is changing. And bar nine. So we've finished bar eight in this shape. All fingers come away except the ring finger. You should just have the second string, third fret. Three, two, one, two, one, two. To a normal A chord, same pattern. Three, two, one, two, one, two. Now you might notice there that the, the bass such as it is in the last two bars has gone from the open fourth string to third string at four to open three to third string at two. The notes D, B, G, A. Now he keeps the same bass notes but moves them down an octave into the bass. He starts on the fourth string but then starts to get lower instead of higher. So here's bar ten. So it's a D chord. Four, two, one, two, four, two. Now take the finger that's on the third string, move it to the fifth string, second fret. Five, two, one, two, five, two. It's a B minor chord. Now 
leave the ring finger where it is, index finger comes away, middle finger to the sixth string, third fret. You've got a G type chord, it's actually technically G6. G Going to an A chord. So, sixth and second strings at the third fret. Six, two, one, two, six, two. To an A chord, again, it could be a two finger A chord the way we've been playing it. Five, two, one, two, five, two. And that brings us to a close because now we go back to the home chord of D and finish the piece playing four, two, one, two, three, two, four. And by all means, slow down at that point. Of course, it's a very short piece as written. Uh, the typical way to play this would be to put it together with some of the other preludes and a little group of pieces. But if you are playing this on its own, you might like to, at the end of that D, not slow down the first time, go back to bar one and repeat the whole thing again and then slow down the second time, just to extend the length of the piece a little bit. But that should get it done. That is the third of Crowley's Preludes. <laughs>